Welcome back everybody to AHSAA TV Weekly. We are thrilled to be joined right now with Low Chapoca High School Principal Albert Whedon. Welcome Principal Whedon. Thank you Susan for having me. Well, you are a man of many talents, which we will get to in just a moment. But before we do, let's talk a little bit about the big game that Low Chapoca has coming up this Friday night. It's against your biggest rival. You guys call it yeah. the Battle of Highway 14. So tell us a little bit, a little bit about it. Yeah, the Battle of Highway 14, this will be our 49th meeting between Los Chipotle High School and Notosoga High School. Uh, both schools are separated by six miles of Highway 14. So we're getting ready to see who can take that highway back um, here at Los Chipotle High School versus Notosoga. So it's a big game. We've got a lot of things going on and planned uh, for that day. But the battle's been going on since 1975. Uh, this will be, the, like I said, the 49th uh, game. And uh, we hadn't been winning too many of those games. Uh, Lotus Soccer has a big lead on us, but we're looking forward to trying to snap that streak this year. Well, and I understand that many people claim that this is the biggest rivalry in 1A football. So uh, with your communities being so close together, I'm sure, you know, a lot of people are neighbors. A lot of, a lot of the fans yes. know each other. So tell us a little bit about how that plays out in the community and the mutual respect that the two schools have for each other. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a very, uh, you know, mutual, uh, I guess, um, rivalry. Um, not 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 like the Iron Bowl where people hate each other, you know what I mean? But it's more of uh, you know, it's Highway 14 battle. Uh, both schools, one is in Lee County, just to be noted. Other school is in Macon County, so two separate counties, but very close. Uh, both communities love their school. They love that you know, Notre Dame um, Blue Devil Pride and Los Poker Love um, Poker Pride, and they are you know very good, clean, safe uh, fun that we have with each other. Um, matter of fact. Right now, the principal um, at Lone Saga, Principal Hooks, has our trophy. We made a trophy. So every year, the winner of the game gets the trophy presented to them on the field. So I'm looking forward to this year, you know, getting that trophy and having Coach, Mr. Principal Hooks present that trophy for me because this will be my sixth year as the principal, and we have not won that game yet. So this is a big game for us. It is a big game for y'all and for you especially. Um, tell us about some other community activities you have planned this week surrounding the game. Yes, uh, we will have a community pet rally. That'll be on Friday, so we're inviting all the community and stakeholders to come in. Uh, real good fellowship. They'll be able to, you know, sit around, meet the team, the players, cheerleaders, the band, uh, go right into the pet rally after everybody gets a chance to get something to eat. We'll have the grill fired up, so we'll do some grilling outside and, you know, get it go right into the pet rally to get the team all fired up for the game. And then right after that, you know, they'll be able to go to their tailgate spot. So we're inviting all the community members to come in and set up for a tailgate. just like a college football game. So we're going to allow the community to tailgate and have a good time with their family and friends and have some activities for the kids to do outside. And I'm just looking for a good, good environment for Battle of Highway 14 on Friday night. That sounds great, and that's what Alabama High School Athletics is all about. But yes. I mentioned earlier, you yourself are a man of many talents, and what I mean yes. by that is I understand you are also the voice of the Indians as a broadcaster for the NFHS Network. So tell us a little bit about, about that side of your story. Oh, yes. Um, I, I guess um, one of our former coaches here, Jeff Klein, he passed away last year in April. Uh, he came in from Alpharetta, Georgia. He's a former Auburn University uh, football player, played quarterback. He came down and wanted to, um, you know, do a technology program for us, AV Tech and AV Technology in the classroom, and we implemented that with our students. And he didn't believe me. He, he's like, you really going to start broadcasting the game? So he helped me spearhead that and with his technology students behind the scenes, you know, doing things with technology. And I told him, so yes, if we get this equipment, we're going to broadcast all of our games in every sport, you know, live. And he didn't believe me. I was like, hey, I got a little touch of that when I lived in Atlanta, Georgia. So it was something easy for me to do. I love talking, getting in front of the camera. I love, you know, interacting with the kids. And we started broadcasting all of the games, you know, on the network. You know, it's called a Poker Prize Straight Hour News Network here at the school. And I'm looking forward to uh, Friday. But I know the fans, they want to see me on Friday. But we have a special broadcast team uh, coming in from the NFL. HS. So the NFHS will be broadcasting our game live, of course, on the network, and they will also be sending in a team of broadcasters to broadcast the game, you know, live as one of the games of the week in the NFHS network. Well, congratulations on being a trailblazer in that way and on your, your leadership in the community. And I hope you guys have a lot of fun with all the festivities and good luck Friday night. Thank you so much.